Welcome to VELF Creations. Today, we are making a custom 3D printed NFC keychain with a laser engraved logo. Let's get started. We're going to start on our computer using Tinkercad to design a simple NFC keychain that we can print using our Bamboo Lab P1S. We began by grabbing the dimensions of the NFC stickers that we'll use and base the entire keychain size on those measurements. For dimensions, we'll use 33 by 33 millimeters with a thickness of 3 millimeters. We'll be embedding an NFC sticker, so we don't want to make the keychain too thick, as it could cause issues when tapping the keychain with our phone. That looks good. We'll also provide the dimensions in the video description if you want to create your own variation of this keychain. Next, we need to make a hole for attaching a key ring. For this, we'll use a cylinder shape. We'll drag a cylinder onto the work plane and resize it to 5 mm in both width and height, with a height that is taller than the keychain's thickness. We'll position this cylinder at the edge of the keychain, leaving enough space to ensure it won't break easily when used. We'll align the cylinder to make sure it's perfectly centered on one edge of the keychain. To give our keychain a more polished look, we'll add some rounded corners. We can achieve this by using the radius feature in Tinkercad. We'll select our base shape and adjust the corner radius until we achieve a smooth, rounded edge. This step not only improves the aesthetics, but also makes the keychain more comfortable to handle. Now, let's create the actual hole for the keyring. We'll change our cylinder to a hole by selecting it and using the hole option. By clicking group, we can subtract the cylinder from the keychain, creating a perfectly sized hole for our keyring. Finally, we need to make a hollow section for the NFC sticker. We'll create another cylinder and set the dimensions to 26 by 26 millimeters, making it pretty thin at 0.86 millimeters. This cylinder will represent the cavity where the NFC sticker will sit. We'll position this cylinder in the center of the keychain, ensuring it's perfectly aligned. To do this, we'll use the Align tool in Tinkercad, selecting both the base shape and the new cylinder, and centering them both horizontally and vertically. Once everything is in place, we need to make this new cylinder a hole as well. We'll select the cylinder and choose the Hole option, then group it with the base shape. This will create a hollow section right in the center of our keychain, perfectly sized for our NFC sticker. Now that our design is complete, we'll export the file from Tinkercad. We'll choose the STL file format, which is compatible with most 3D printers. We will save the file and prepare to load it into Bamboo Studio. Setup for 3D printing is pretty straightforward. We start by importing the newly created STL file into Bamboo Studio. Since this is a simple model, we selected the 0.2 millimeter preset and kept all the settings at the default values. Once that is added, we can click Slice Plate to see all of our layers. We want to add a pause in the print that will allow us to stick down an NFC tag in the middle, which will create a permanent seal. To do this, we move down to the layer just before the empty space is closed up. Next, we can right-click and select Add Pause. Great, that's all that we need to set up with the file. Let's go to the 3D printer. We really like using these build plates with the pattern on them. It gives a really nice touch to these keychains. Our first attempt at running these ended in a disaster when it was trying to print over the NFC tag. But we realized that if we slow down the speed a tiny bit, it works perfectly. So we just went into the settings and set the speed to the silent option. For those with more 3D printing experience, is it possible to have a specific layer run at a slower speed? Once this is done printing, we will use our laser engraver to mark the outside with our logo. With Bamboo's AMS unit, we could also create a custom 3D print with our logo already added. But this allows us to make blank keychains and then custom engrave each one with a logo when we need to. We like the idea of also doing more things with NFC tags, like embedding them into other 3D prints. If you guys have any ideas, let us know in the comments below. Great, the print paused. And now we can grab our NFC stickers. 
They have one side that peels off and we can add it to the print. Once we click Continue, the printer will completely seal the sticker inside. We just wanted to take a moment to thank all of our amazing subscribers. Your support means the world to us and keeps this channel going strong. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and click the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Awesome, that turned out great. The pattern shows up perfectly. Now we can head over to our Xtool F1 and XCS to custom engrave our logo on both sides of the keychain. We started by adding a rectangle to use as a reference, so that we can use it for framing and positioning our logo on our keychain. This can eventually be removed or ignored, but we like to lock it in place under the layers panel so that we don't accidentally move it. Once that is done, we will position our logo. We printed out our keychain with PLA and these are the settings that we like to use. IR laser, power set to 50%, speed set to 1000 millimeters per second, and lines per centimeter set to 200. This gives us a nice bright engraving that can also be repeated to increase the brightness. Great! Now don't forget to set the rectangle to ignore. Another quick tip is to enable infrared ray preheat in the F1 settings. This will help get a more even engraving on materials like metals and plastics. These settings engrave so fast but we wanted to also include a warning. When laser engraving plastics, proper ventilation is crucial. Ensure you are working in a well-ventilated area or use an appropriate fume extraction system to avoid inhaling potentially harmful fumes. Also, not every plastic is safe to engrave, so do your research before placing anything under the laser. Safety first. Probably could have nudged the logo a bit further down, but these look great. Let's get the NFC tag programmed. On iPhones, we use an app called NFC Tools. This allows you to write a whole bunch of different types of data. But today, we will be adding a link to our link tree. The cool thing about these tags is that you can rewrite the data at any time. Just select your record, tap right, and then simply tap your phone to the NFC tag. And just like that, you have your own custom tag. Holding your phone up to the tag will show a notification when tapped will take us directly to our link tree. Now that we are here, this is a great resource for you guys that have lasers or 3D printers and would like some free files. For this project, we included all model files as well as our affiliate links to the keychain rings and NFC stickers that we use if you would like to support our channel. Now that we have the keychain programmed, we can snap on these really nice black keychain rings to finish off the project. These turned out great. Let us know what you think, and thanks for watching.